Hello everybody, welcome back to the Educator Call Snap Channel. How you doing? So today we're going to be going over the April 25th balance updates. Should be a couple ones, you can see them here on your screen. Marvel Snap Zone created a very beautiful image that I'm using, hope they don't get mad at me for that. But we've got Red Hulk being nerfed, makes sense. US Agent getting buffed, I guess that also makes sense. I'm a little surprised it was so weak. Um, Jean Grey getting buffed, of course. Stature getting buffed, so a lot of the stature people should be happy about that. And then Mantis getting an adjustment, and then Thor also getting buffed. So let's get into the details. So first off, we have Red Hulk getting a big nerf. Well, a pretty big nerf. It's losing two power. So it didn't get like a crazy nerf where it's like going from plus four to plus three. That would probably be the most like, here's the, the nerf, but it's losing two base power. So instead of being a 611, it's now a 69. So when you get it for the first turn, you get one buff proc, it's going to be a 613, which isn't super big, but two buffs, 617, you're pretty big. It takes three buffs to get, you know, infinite stats. So that's not like unreasonable, but it's still like, it's still notable. Like that is a pretty big nerf. Red Hulk has been the best six cards in the game since release, even created upticks of people playing leader. Oh my, you poor fellas. Um, elements of its strength and encounters were intentional, giving the mechanic revealing Red Hulk's hero. Opener was a novel bit of mechanical space we really explore. We expected that to mean Red Hulk's cube rate would be lower, right? And I think this makes sense because you think, oh, you your opponent knows they have a Red Hulk. Okay, they know to leave. But... In practice, oh, your opponent has a Red Hulk. Ha ha, I can beat that. Oh, okay, I'm playing a different card. Or my opponent has, you know, 21 power Red Hulk. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not leaving. Like, it, it, it's very peculiar. Um, but yeah, but it seems like the Q rate of Red Hulk has been strong. I mean, the card is just very good right now. So um, even with the... The nerfs, I still think it's going to be very good. Maybe not, hey, everyone's playing it, or it's the best It's it's the best six drop to pick over everything. Maybe it's not going to be that now, but it's still going to be really, really good. Like, you were playing 27 Power Hulks, so, like, you're still going to be doing that. <laughs> well, 25 Power, like, it's still going to be quite good. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm, I'm happy with this change. I think it's not too hard, but still... Probably impactful. Next up, we have probably my most surprising U.S. agent getting getting this buff. Now, four, five, and six cards here have minus four power instead of minus three. I think this is quite a lot to do minus four. It means if you have one target, it's a two seven. Two targets, a two eleven, right? So, actually, a lot of stats to nerf. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm surprised. The chain to Zabu reducing the number of four card. Oh, that's true. The chain to Zabu reducing the number of four cost cards in play. That is a good point. Uh, combined with the resurgence of Angela based Swarm decks, probably reduce the impact. Yeah, that's true. You nerf Zabu, so there's going to be a lot less fours. And fours are really the best target for this. Fives and sixes are a little, a little harder. Um, so there, and then people are playing Angela. True, that's also true. The data doesn't indicate that this card is far too off, too far off the map. Uh, okay, all right, okay, right. It. I still think the card was good, even as minus three. But I wasn't playing it that much, so maybe it's maybe it wasn't as good as I I was expecting. So yeah, makes sense to me. What I am surprised that US Agent was like that. It looks the effect looks very good to me. Um, it's just like maybe not in practice, especially with the Zabu nerf. Gene Gray gaining a power. I don't think this solves Gene Gray, right? Like But it's it's something. No, this just isn't because this isn't just because we're all loving X-Men 97. Gene is still at the edge of a bouncing knife for some time with an effect that can be frustratingly strong. However, uh, with the metagame seeing an uptake in combo decks like Annalis and Hela, as long as the ends base decks, seems like a good time to explore pushing the power a bit. Sure. 
yeah i don't know if this changes that much but maybe it's helpful uh just because going from three three to three four is like quite like it's not that great like you you're now uh you're now a hope summers and yeah but maybe people try it i do think it's helpful i don't know if you'd make it a three five like i feel like that might be annoying to deal with like a three five gene gray that sounds annoying so maybe three four is like the a healthy baseline and it's good to test it and then see if it's still people pl if people play it or not and then that dust and the stature is going from let me fix this stature is also gaining some stats going from five six to five seven yeah stature has proven that one more power is within reach yeah every Every now and then we'll see stature temporarily vault into top 10, but never make a prolonged stay. It's just some people like stature and they try it and then they're like, ah, maybe it's not that good, but it is good. Um, we've talked it up to the cynical presence of M Mobius in various decks. With pixie decks that always play Mobius performing well, it's fair game to give stature a small buff. Yeah, I guess if you are playing into Mobius, it hurts, so they're... I, I just think it could have used the buff anyways. I don't think Mobius is like really that common, at least to, to warrant it. But I think Stature could just use the buff. People have been asking for Stature buffs for a long time. So I think a lot of Stature players are going to be happy with this change. And Mantis is going from a 2-2 two -two to a 1-2. So you're, you played on 1 now. Yeah, I think as a 2-drop, it was very awkward. Like it, it's, it's basically Cable, but... You're not really milling or doing anything. Is there isn't like there wasn't really a place for it. I think as a one cost, you could maybe find a place for it. Um, going with two two out of concern for the card becoming annoying. Uh, yeah, but that that's not true. So we're storing it to a one two. Yeah, I think that's fine. I I still I'm still not playing this card as a one two, but maybe you see it in. Uh, what deck would even play this? I don't know what deck you'd play Mantis in right now. That's kind of my issue for the card. What deck would I even play this in? No idea. And then Jane Fog getting Jane Foster gaining one point. I love this. Buff Thor. Thor needs a buff. Um, it's an archetype that flirts with competitive play fairly often, um, but struggles m maintain such performance. So we're talking up to the new Sandman. Nah, we're chalking up to the new Sandman. That's a lie. <laughs> that's that's such a lie. <laughs> How many Sandmans have I seen since it got changed? I don't know, but yeah, that's that's I uh, I don't know. I think you can buff Thor decks. I think that's fine. Making a five nine still under Shang Chi is fine. I'm happy with it. I just think the reasoning. That they gave us at least is a little, is a little disingenuous. But yeah, overall, it's this, these are good. Jane Foster check mark Mathis is good. I don't know when to play. Stature is great. Jean Grey sure. I don't know if it's super impactful. Surprise, U.S. Agent needs the buff, but I'm okay with it. And Red Hulk. So all the all these changes are good. Overall, like I don't have any issues with it. So pretty quick, sweet, makes sense. Don't have any problems with it at all. So yeah. What are your thoughts on these changes? And let me know. Take care of yourselves. Uh, what's my thoughts on White Widow? I know people are asking. I bought it. I got it. It's been okay. A lot of times I'm giving my 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 opponent a rock. I have seen a lot of mirror matches, which are also kind of annoying. It's like who who has the better Annihilus? Right? So it, it didn't even matter. I don't know. I, I want to play White Widow in a non like three weeks from now and and see how that feels right when everyone's not playing annihilus and stuff like that and i think um it might be a better indicator of the strength so that's my current thoughts take care of yourselves have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one Educated Colin Snap. once you watch him you won't go back he'll teach you tomorrow snap your skills will be in